Hi, this is Scott DeCamp with Catchmark Sports. We're here in the Catchmark studio with a special guest today, Connor Rath, Montague Sr. Thanks for coming in and being with us today, yeah. Connor. Yeah. So it's uh, senior basketball season, which oh, yeah. means a lot to a lot of people anyway. But I would imagine it means a little more to you just because last year as a junior, um, you're getting ready for your first game. You had made the team, which was a goal of yours. And then you find out that you had to have open heart surgery. So, yeah. I mean, how much, how devastating was that to hear that? And how scary was it just to know that you had to have that procedure? I wouldn't say it was as scary as it was a little bit more heartbreaking. I had finally made that team. I finally, all that work kind of finally paid off and for it all just to go and go by the wayside really sucked, like sucked really bad. And so I'm really excited for this year to be able to finally get back on that court and be able to play and play and compete. Now, since the surgery, I think, you know, you ran cross country in, in the fall and, you know, I know you played basketball over the summer, et cetera. Like when were you cleared to actually uh, resume physical activity again? May 28th. Um, they, I was allowed to golf during the spring season, which was really nice after spring break. So we had about a week of practice for golf and then spring break, and then I got cleared for that. And then May 28th, I went in and they cleared me for um, the rest, everything else. So I'm back to normal. What did the surgery entail? Like how detailed, I mean, it's open heart, so that's yeah. pretty, pretty um, serious surgery that you're having there. So, so. they basically went in, um, my the enlarged part of my heart, the, the vein or artery there, they chopped that piece out and grafted a mesh graft onto there. Um, and so the enlarged part was replaced with this mesh graft and they actually sent the, mesh, the enlarged part off to a lab. So. Now how did they find out, how did they discover that then that you needed that at that point? Because you know, when you were born, was it maybe a, a year old, around a year old, you had to have a procedure then too, yeah. right? Yeah, so they've always, we, I've been going in for yearly appointments, MRIs, etc. for probably, basically since I can remember. Um, and they were watching my, that part of your heart, my heart specifically, um, and keeping an eye on it. And as it started to enlarge, it got bigger and bigger and they were, that was always on our radar. We just didn't know when that surgery would have to be. And eventually on March 1st, I had that surgery. And so it was just something that we've been, they've been looking at, making sure that it didn't get too big and it eventually didn't so they did what we knew they were going to have to. And then you said you grew up playing different sports you, yeah. and that, because of your condition you couldn't play like sports that were like extremely physically yeah. you know a lot with a lot of physical yeah. contact right so you know soccer you could play mm -hmm. played basketball mm -hmm. you know, obviously golf you've done yeah. cross country but how special is it to how special is basketball to you? It seems like in your family basketball is maybe the number one. Yeah my uh, grandpa my dad um, and all of us have played basketball since I can remember and so it's always been something special to me. It's always been something that I wanted, always wanted to work really hard for, be willing to work hard for and so I mean it's just always been there and it's it's kind of a family thing at a point so. You speak of family thing, your younger brother yeah. Owen is on the team and he's a good player. Who's yeah. better though, you or, you or Owen? Honestly, I mean I kind of have to say me, but usually I would say probably him. Um, but if we're playing one-on-one, -on -one, I win all the time. Oh yeah? Yeah. Who wins, who has the bragging rights in the family? You or your brother or your I dad? Do. I do. Oh, my dad? No, he doesn't. He doesn't? He doesn't? Mm -mm. I don't know, there's, I think I've seen some video floating around out there no, that suggests no, otherwise. No. That's not, that's fake. <laughs> that's a, yeah. So um, back to the Montague basketball team. Seems like the conference is going to be wide open, and I think Montague is one of those teams that should be right in that mix. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about the season coming up, and what, what role you might be able to play in that team on that team? I think I'll be. I think overall, I have a really good opportunity to be a leader on the team, and really show what I've to the younger group what I've learned over the past six years, seven years, and show how I've developed to them. And then I also think since that conference is wide open, I think we have a pretty good shot of being the, one of those top three teams, top two teams. Um, and I think our senior group is really strong and really tight knit. And I think that us, I don't, uh, us seniors are 
have a really important job to do as leaders this year in developing those younger guys. So I think that's where my role would, I would say my role is. What are you looking forward to the most and what did you miss the most last year not being able to play? It sounds kind of odd, but practices when you're at practice every day, because I would go to practice till about surgery time. Um, I missed those in practice competitions and like watching the guys run up and down the court and play. I remember sitting on the side and being like, coach, just let me get one rep before I go into surgery. Every time he said no, but I, that's something I miss is that competition and being able to play with them. And, um, you know, you look at Montague just as a whole, the community, the school, I know it means a lot to you. You've been a big Montague fan and even during football, you don't play football, but I know you're really pulled for those guys. Mm -hmm. You did uh, picks with Catchmark this mm -hmm. year, this fall. I think you probably picked Montague every single game, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I mean, I have to. They're, they're where I'm from, they're, they're my home. Um, during sur come around surgery time, the, the community really supported me through that. Um, even the, the basketball team especially. I remember like a week before I went to surgery, they all pulled me in aside and we went up into the weight room and we had snacks and they gave me a card and everything. And then like the girls JV basketball team after when I got home, came by and dropped stuff off and like just the community was really, really great and really awesome. And that support definitely, definitely was, was big and I appreciated it a lot. And it's, it's almost unimaginable how many people affected going into that surgery just as a community. Now just, you know, being back on the court and with practices and stuff, getting ready for your first game, what's it, are you feeling any effects from, from any of the heart procedures you've had or is it just back, everything's as back to normal as it's going to be? Back, I don't feel anything. It feels just like it did when I started, when tryout to last year. Um, so, I mean, other than the fact that it, I'm a little bit more amped up because I'm back and it's, then I really don't feel anything. No effects from the heart. Now, aside from basketball, aside from school, where do your interests lie? Like, are you kind of, I, I've, I've heard that maybe you're a little bit of a nerd. Can you kind bit. of elaborate on that? Uh, I actually work here, as many people know, um, but I'm on the tech side. So I do all the, I help support and do some of the help desk stuff. And uh, But at home, one of my hobbies is definitely playing games. Um, we play a lot of games with the guys here and we, I'm a big tech nerd and I like looking at computers, fixing them, building them, all that stuff. So, yeah. Well, tech nerds, they rule the world. I mean, they're the yeah. ones that, you know, it's funny because you see all these, like if you're at a game and you see, um, you know, maybe they're, like if you look at like a North Muskegon or, or some other school where they're bragging about their academics and, and then a school that's really good at athletics and like, well, well, that's okay. That's all right. We're going to, you know, you're going to work for us someday. Yeah. So it's like, you're going to, yeah. you're one of those guys, you're going to be the boss someday probably. So, I, I mean, so. they can call you a nerd now, right? Yeah. That doesn't bother you at all. What, what else do you like outside of video games and outside of basketball? What else keeps, occupies your time? Um, I like to golf. Like I played on the team last year, and this summer I played a lot, and that's one of my bigger hobbies. Um, I would say probably I don't know, watching movies, just just normal, basic kid stuff that I like to do. Um, I ran cross in the fall too, and that I wouldn't say the running part was necessarily a hobby, but hanging out with those people and doing all that that was definitely something I enjoyed. And then just uh, what are your goals going forward? And you know from this basketball season to the end of school to going forward in, in, in your life? Um, I definitely, start, starting with just basketball, I definitely, I wanna be a leader this year, um, whether that be on or off, on and off the court, hopefully, um, and show what how I've developed, show how I, sitting on the sideline actually might've helped during that time. Um, and then going forward, I hope, I mean, I would like to have a really good golf season too. I've practiced a lot, put in a lot of time and effort for that. And then after school, I hope to come and work, work here with the group here and do stuff with them. All right, anything else on your mind? No. All right, well, thanks a lot. That was Connor Rath with Montague. He's a senior, he's on the basketball team, and it's gonna be a great run for the conference title, I think, with, with Montague, Whitehall, 
possibly Oak Ridge, maybe Ravenna. I think it's going to be a really good race and uh, looking forward to seeing you play this year. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah.